Hello everyone. My name is Vinod and welcome to another Career Bolt video. And today we are going to be talking with one of uh, the students who has been working with Career Bolt for some time in different capacities. And um, I have Rohit Srinivas in front of me today. He's a graduate from IIT Madras. He did his undergrad degree in metallurgical engineering and right now he's a PhD student at University of California Berkeley. And uh, he has an interesting background that he has actually worked for around 2 years at PayPal. since 2021 he has worked at paypal and uh, just recently a couple of months back he ended up joining the phd program at berkeley um, so rohit welcome so much happy to have you here thank you thank you vinod thanks for having me in career bolt awesome so rohit uh, let's uh, jump in with a couple of questions i have for you so your profile is very interesting so do you want to little add a little bit of color about your background as we uh, before we open it up to students so that students know something yeah. more about you Yes, so I did my as you mentioned earlier. I did my B Tech in Material Science from IIT Madras. Uh, so in in the starting years, I did, did try out a lot of stuff and uh, like programming, co participating in hackathons, competitions, played around in computer vision, which is an active area of research in computer science for a while, and then uh, later on tried material science research. tried industry interns and then finally worked for a year and a half to two uh, uh, in industry and then decided to start my phd so basically kind of tried almost everything before kind of starting my phd uh, so did some research interns did some industry interns so on that's my simple background yeah so rohit what i like about your background is that firstly the you are one of the toppers from iit madras in your specialization that's fantastic but you are not like others right who wanted to jump for an mba or uh, you are like uh, i don't want to go for a phd you are like let's do it slowly so you work for a couple of years in a very non traditional sector you worked in data analytics in paypal for some time and then you're looking for a phd so um, let me begin with the first question so can you go back to your college days and talk about like what did you do differently when you were applying for a phd program compared to other students so uh, uh, i did not have a pressure or i was not really i wanted to do research i understood that i liked research but i was also pondering over the fact that whether i should do a phd in us or phd in europe should i even do a phd at all Uh, and all those stuff so that's why i kind of explored all my dimensions like going in industry and intern and stuff like that uh um the different thing that i kind of did was that that many people do or uh, not do is that i really st stuck with a prof or worked with a problem statement really long almost for 3 years uh, uh solo on the project which is kind of not many Uh, undergrad students tend to do i just did it because i really like the problem and i was try that i was trying to do and so i ended up being associated with the lab that i was working in, in during my undergrad doing my research uh, for around 3 years probably from the start of my second year or third year itself it start i started at house just to experiment but i think i like the space so i kept on working on it parallelly in the time when i even tried to do some industrial interns and other stuff so uh that is one thing that i think i did differently whereas uh, i did not have i was more of an explorative in 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 explorative in uh, more the rather than having a deadline at the back of my mind telling that four years down the line i have to do a Applica application process and so i had to do all these x y z's beforehand that is one thing and i did not apply to a lot of universities as well i did apply to only five or four or five universities which is compared less to the average level of universities one generally applies people usually apply for seven to nine universities uh, three ambitious three mid 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 difficulty three possible ones that's the gentle split up but i did apply to only four five mainly because i wanted to be sure on the universities that i am applying whichever had a strong match to my already existing research interest so those are the two things that i think i did differently 
Awesome. So I find it remarkable that you actually spent three years working on an undergrad project with a professor at IIT Madras because that's so uncommon. And I'm sure that helped you with good recommendation letters, right? And you're able、yes. to also show much more progress in terms of what work you did in your undergrad for research. Yes, yes, and I think that gave me a taste of what research actually is.、Uh, it's more of more more about persistence rather than your inherent talent or skill. You have to be really, you have to be really patient to solve the problem. It'll take time. It'll, you'll go back to the same starting cube multiple times, and you should be, you should have almost the same level of enthusiasm that you started where, with which you started doing the problem. So that's one key thing that that help that I understood doing that, and also it gave me. I was able because it was a reasonable long time. I was able to do some conferences. Publications and so on. So, is it, it, all these things could could happen only if you only if the student gives long enough time for that.、Uh, is what is all I'm trying to convey. Yeah. Roy, did you have any publications when you applied for a PhD program? Yes, I did have. Yes, I did have. One of them pub was published, and the other was accepted but not published. Was it a, a national conference or international conference? It, it was an international、uh, conference. I had so it was a conference. It was one inter. It was one international conference and two conference presentations. One international conference presentation and two international publications. Awesome! Awesome.